We'll go a slightly different direction today on our positive parenting, how to be a successful step parent. This is kind of funny because as I was considering what to share with you in this particular video today, I'm jotting down ideas and I'm coming up with some things to share and I realized, you know what? It's the same thing that I've told you all along in other positive parenting videos. Now your role is a little different as a step parent. In fact, we did a whole video about what is your role as a step parent. Click to it right up there and you can watch it right after this one's done. I think you'll find that enlightening as well. What if we were to just delete the word step from the title of this video? Then it would be how to be a successful parent. Because honestly, the same principles and rules apply to step parenting as they do to any parenting. If we insert the word step before parent in all of the other videos on the positive parenting playlist here on the channel, then you've got a whole playlist of step parenting videos. Keep that in mind. All of the principles are exactly the same even though your role is slightly different. One of the most common things that step parents run into, and this has to do with role, okay, is kids saying, you're not my real mom. You're not my real dad. Oh, like you're a fake person or something? You are a parent to them, but you're not their biological parent. And sometimes they'll use that against you or They'll bring it up as a reason why you don't get to have authority with them. You might be thinking the same thing in your own mind. I'm not really their parent. I'm going to back off. I'm going to defer to my husband or I'm going to defer to my wife who is their biological parent and I'm just going to kind of play it cool over here on the side. That doesn't always work really well either. So let's get clear about what your job is first. And if you've been here on the channel very long, you know exactly where I'm going with this. What is your job as a step parent? Now, you got all kinds of good answers to that, I know. We're going right to the core of this thing. Your job is to love them no matter what and even if. That's your job. Wrap your arms and your heart around that for just a minute. That will change everything. Your job is to love them. It's not to make sure that they this or to make sure that they that. You can't. We really are not very good at controlling outcomes like that. Your job is to love them no matter what and even if. With that in mind, how can you now have authority as a parent? Authority is established with two elements that are both necessary to have authority. And honestly, the little step word that we talked about earlier isn't even relevant here. This is to have authority with kids. Whether you're their teacher, their parent, their step parent, their grandparent, doesn't matter. You gotta have these two elements in place. Number one, you have to be able to set and enforce appropriate limits. This gets back to some really basic principles that we talk about here on the channel all the time about being clear about what you control and what you don't. If you're going to set and enforce appropriate limits, you have to know what you control because you don't always get cooperation from these kids or even from your partner. So get clear about what you control and you pick those things as the context around which you set and enforce appropriate limits. That's the first element. The second element that allows you to have authority is to be seen as a provider of good times and good things. You wouldn't necessarily think that's part of authority, but honestly, if you can set and enforce limits, but you're not seen as a provider of good times and good things, you won't have authority. It it will feel like you're a dictator or you're someone who's come in as a drill sergeant to just kind of run their lives. When you add this piece to be seen as a provider of good times and good things, it actually gives you authority 
in your position as a parent because now they have a reason to interact with you. Now they have a motivation or an incentive to maintain a relationship with you. So those two elements are both necessary, being able to set and enforce appropriate limits, being seen as a provider of good times and good things. Now you're in a position of authority with that child. Can you see that this is true if you are their parent, their step-parent, their grandparent, their teacher, their advisor, their counselor? You got to be able to have both. That authority puts you in a position where you can fully function as a parent. All of the videos here on the Positive Parenting Playlist could be retitled Positive Step Parenting Playlist and we would also love to have you on board for the Parenting Power Up. You can click on it right over there or in the description below. Come inside of this Positive Parenting community and you're going to see a world of resources that are available for you as a parent.